Hello, it's me again in the same outfit because I'm filming this on the same day. Today, as you may or may not be able to tell from the title, I am going to try a reading challenge for the first time. I've never done a challenge before, not even while I was watching booktube and didn't have a channel. Uh, I don't know why, but here I am gonna do this for the first time. I wanted to try something like this, so I like googled or I looked up on YouTube reading challenges or I forgot what I looked up. Readathon announcements and I saw one that was posted like four hours ago and I was like this is perfect for me. I am a person who starts a series and never finishes it. It's just something that for some reason I just can't do. I don't know why, I just, series never really stick with me. I've only ever completed like five or six series in my lifetime. I mean, look at these. I've read most of these books, if not one or two of them I haven't read yet. And a lot of them are series and I haven't even read the next book. There are a couple of series where I'm like, I don't know if I'll read the next book or continue on with the series, but I'll just bring that out there. So this readathon or reading challenge, I might as well say, because it is a challenge, it will be a challenge for me. This reading challenge will be hosted by Kayla from Kayla Ray Reads and Bailey from Is Bailey Reading. The two of them are gonna co-host this, I believe. So I will sign up and I will do it. I will attempt to do this. This readathon will last from August 2nd to August 15th, I believe. It's two weeks. They say you got two weekends because a lot of people work. I think the second week I will start school. So that will kind of suck for me, but that is perfectly fine. I have a good old list of books that I have started the series, like I've read at least the first book or two and I want to continue finishing it because I liked it or I just want to see what happens. So here we are and I'm pretty sure this isn't even all of it. So now that I think about it, I'm missing one. The, the Disney one, you know, with like the standalone novels, but they're still series. I don't know, maybe I'll put a picture up somewhere. Let me grab a bite first and get a drink of water. The total number of series I have written down here are 63 series that I have started but haven't finished. This is how good I am with my series. I'll just go ahead and read them off. Maybe I'll put a picture, probably not. I'll write them all down in the description box because why not? You want to actually, you know, look at everything I'm reading but not have to like scroll back through the pictures. So. Here we go. Purple Highest then. There's a first season and a second season. It's called a series for whatever reason on Goodreads, so that's why I put it up here. I guess I would include also Unholy Blood. Not very sure if that's marked as a series on Goodreads either, but I definitely want to finish that once it finishes. Same thing with Purple Highest then. They're continuing because they're webtoons. The Hate You Give, Crank, Once Upon a Con. Folk of the Air, Truly Devious, Ready Player One, Strange the Dreamer, Caraval, Check Please, New Kid, The Time Content, Heartstopper. Arc of a S The Arc of a Scythe. The Arc of a Scythe. Ah, it's like... Miss Marvel, I know they're comics, but they're still a series and I haven't finished them and I really like the first couple of books I read. Warcross, there it is. Jurassic Park, I love the first book. Chronicles of Pre... Pridium? Pridium? Loop, Hunger Games, Enchanted Forest Chronicles, Charlie Bucket, Serafina, The Selection, The Hate You Give, Girl from the Other Side, Gallagher Girls, Sherlock Holmes. Did I already say? Ooh, it doesn't matter. Ancient Magnus's Bride. Magus Bride? I'm not very sure how to pronounce that. The Mage's Bride? Probably. Love Boat Taipei, Akana Witch, Maximum Ride, Legacy of Orisha. Book of Ember. The Books of Ember. The series that I never finished as a kid. Fairy Tale, Handmaid's Tale, Olympians, Fairy Tale Retellings, Dork Diaries, Anne of Green Gables, Guardians of Gahul. Shadow Children. Why did I put that? Oh, no, wait, never mind. That's a different series. <laughs> I thought it was the one by Neil Shuster, and I'm like, I don't like that book. Shadow Children by Maddox. Haddix? Haddix. Maddox? I don't remember. Dark Lives, Teen Titans, Serpent and Dove, Amulet, Devil and Rishi, Red Queen, Curse Breakers, Percy Jackson, Throne of Glass, La Corda de Oro, De Oro, Love and Thumps, Persepolis, Darkest Minds, To All the Boys I've Loved Before, Ender Saga, Sisters Grand. I put Hamilton High with like two question marks. It's like the Dove series. I had no idea it was a series. I don't know if I want to continue it, so I kind of put it there like maybe, maybe not. Cinder and Ella, Emily Winsnap, Rapunzel's Revenge, Corpus, and Churro which I'm, I just started that series, which was a mistake, but that doesn't matter. If somebody gives you a recommendation, you read the recommendation. So pretty much those are around 63 series, give or take. It's probably a little more. I have started other series, but I've decided to not finish them. For example, The Maze Runner, I'm just not gonna finish that one. I like the last book in Harry Potter series that just came out that may or may not be part of the Harry Potter series at all from 
if you know what I mean. Those are all of the series that I want to continue. So roughly maybe 63, 65 of them. Let's get on to the prompts and my TBR and see if I can actually hold on to it because you know I'm a mood reader. So the first prompt is restart book one. Guardians of Gahul the Captured. This is a Junival series. Nice. The font looks pretty big. I want to restart this book and try maybe reading the next book. I think it's like a series of a total of like 17 books. It's one of those really long annoying series about animals. But I remember loving it so much as a kid that I want to give it another shot and maybe try hopefully finishing that series or deciding I don't want to read it again because it's always been in the back of my mind, you know, you should keep reading me and I'm like, I don't know, dude. So The Capture by Katherine Lasky. I have the second book, I'm not very sure I have it here. The second book that follows The Capture is going to be for the second prompt, which is second book in a series, and that is going to be The Journey. Final book in a series about So Bold and Deadly by... Oh, crap, I should have put the authors up here. Hang on. Thinking. By Bridget Kemmer. Kemmer. Kemmer? Kemmerer. Kemmerer. That's an interesting name. That will be for final book in a series. That should be a trilogy and I'm pretty sure the book came out this year. Hopefully I can find a copy of the book either at my library or on Audible. Audiobook. Libby. Doesn't matter. The series most recently started. I most recently started. I might start another one by the time August 2nd comes around. But recently I just started reading. God, why can't I find the book? Where is the book? You know, maybe I left it downstairs. I'll just put a picture of the title or something. Cherub by... I don't know the author to this one either. Cherub. The Recruit by Robert Mucharu. Muchamor. Muchamor? Robert Muchamor. I'll read Cherub. This series I also know I won't finish in like the two weeks because somebody in the library had recommended it to me and the... This series is like 17 books long and I just picked up the first one because why not, you know what I mean? Sequel on TBR The Longest. I don't know when, which book has been on my TBR The Longest, but I'm pretty sure it's the second book. The Rescue. Rescue? Cherub Gahul. Actually, I don't have that written down. That's kind of weird. The Journey. Just kidding. The Journey. The third book is called The Rescue. Have I already read those first three books? I can't even remember. I feel like I have. Maybe it's because I watched the movie. I'm pretty sure it's because I watched the movie. Third book. The longest book that's been on my TBR for the sequel is either The Journey as well for The Guardians of Gahul. At first, when I started using Goodreads, I didn't know how to mark things as currently reading and so it would mark as read. So so I kind of lost the dates on when I've read those books. So I mean it's fine but now I, I kind of wish I knew. But I'm pretty sure that book's the one that's been on sitting on my TBR for the longest. A sequel published in 2021, A Vow So Bold and Deadly. I'm gonna use this book twice. Randomized series. <laughs> I don't remember the author by Ellen Hopkins. I'm excited for that one. Should be poetry. So audiobook, a sequel. I'll probably audiobook a lot of these sequels. I don't have a specific book for this one, but I think for sure the second book to Occur So Dark and Lonely because I think I have that one on Audible. A sequel to a book you got, you gave five stars. I noticed that I don't give a lot of five stars to books and I don't know why, but it gave me a hard time. But I gave five stars to Jurassic Park, so Lost World. We're gonna see how that goes because I don't remember anything that happened in Jurassic Park. I just remember loving it. This is gonna be a total of seven books-ish, give or take. Hopefully. I hope I finish the challenge. I think I can read seven books in two weeks if I really really Get down to it if you know what I mean. I really need to catch up on my Goodreads roll. Anyway, I'm still like 13 books behind <laughs> So here's the challenge, and they basically kind of did it as a pyramid, which I think is super cool. It looks really aesthetic. The first prompt is, if you finish one prompt, sorry, you it's starting off hot. If you complete three prompts, it, you're getting momentum. If you complete five prompts, I really needed this. Eight prompts, making some reading, make, making some read progress, read progress. Why can't I read my own handwriting? 
this is annoying eight prompts making some real progress and then if you finish all 10 prompts you say i squashed it and i'm excited for this i really am i can't wait to see how it turns out and how many books i'm able to finish those two weeks thank you for watching i hope you participate in the challenge as well so yeah if you're really bad at finishing series two because for the life of me i can never finish a series even if it's a duology i i don't even have the hunger games on here did i say hunger games i haven't finished hunger games either but yeah that's it for today or for right now at least i will record another one right now look at my energy levels all the way high i had so much to eat today i will see you in the next one and have a great day night evening morning you name it bye